I, I mean, y- y- y'all, were, y'all were missing when he was on Twitch painting Warhammer figures, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Henry and- Cavill gatekeeping. <laughs> yeah. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Beautiful people, I'm Vin Stone back with you. Each and every week, live from beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, doing the Nightmare Fuel, here at LGC Actual, switching the bits all under Linux. That man, up there, single-handedly revived the art of erotic juggling. That is Jordan's Fang, a masterpiece of humanity himself. There's Pedro. Together with you, at home, live, helping us form a sweet, little adorable Ad removing cocaine Voltron. What's up, beautiful people? Uh, internet went down, right? That happened. That was the thing. It did. Boo. I don't know, man. I I got caught in that, but we were. I think we were all like halfway in Jordan's the middle. Jordan's muted. Good, 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 good. What? No, Jordan's not muted. He's just not saying anything. Oh, he's saying things. All right. <laughs> uh, there we go. Fine. Nope. There. <laughs> my my precious dialogue, my contribution to the first thirty seconds. You of the know, now I <laughs> people, I should have picked it up because I got through that intro way too smoothly without any sharp interruptions. It's like this is just flowing smooth, man. And it's like ah, got it, understood. All right, so internet broke. That was the thing that happened, and. We, we were just like in the middle of a conversation on Discord, and I think just came to an yeah. abrupt stop <laughs> as we all scrambled to like, what other way do people communicate these days? And like Twitter, <laughs> Steam Messenger, and all that fun stuff. So, send a raven. I want to know from each of you, what were you doing? Well, you're disqualified because you, you, you were no internet, but what were you doing the moment that you broke the internet? Because I had just hit send on an upload of a doc that I'm working on here in the studio and uploaded it to our discord as a picture, just a little shot of it. Then everything froze. I'm like, yep, that did it. I took down the internet. (laughs) Pedro. I was talking to (laughs) our on steam Mm -hmm. and uh, I saw a discord go down. It's like, Oh God, discord go poo for you too. And our was like, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I, 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 I had finished all my Cloudflare related stuff like four hours earlier, so I just missed all of it. Oh that's man, good. that's good. <laughs> so another thing that I learned: first off, we need to wish Pedro a happy after his birthday. Yes, birthday yay! Birthday. You're gonna die sooner. <laughs> Woo! Um, I am the whole of thirty-four. We're, we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna go have a party for birthday. Console him and tell him there's always next year. Better luck, you know. Pat on the yeah. back. Get your spirits up, champ. Also, Cambridge uh, man, Cambridge, you're slipping. I know a little bit about you. I'm just gonna say, unrelated. There is not a shop within Pedro's delivery distance circle willing to make a green peas and fish burrito. <laughs> a green peas and fish burrito that doesn't sound awful i mean one of those will kill me the other one <laughs> are, are, are you are you allergic to fish no peas. he just doesn't like him he doesn't like fish i don't like, like fish but yeah peas will straight up kill me <laughs> not a shot i'm whoa, not gonna whoa. name fi- i'm not gonna what I went you, out you of my are... way to try to get Pedro a bur- What did you try to do for him? <laughs> I did nothing because I don't give gifts. I just want to say it is bizarre that a port person like yourself does not like fish from that one country that's kind of famous. Look, famous for how it? many times have I said that I'm a terrible Portuguese person? I don't like football. I, I don't like were, fish. I thought you were going to bring up peas, and I'm like, yes, yeah, the well known saltwater peas. The aquatic ones, you have to watch out for them. They're partially carnivorous. <laughs> Yeah, they they feed they feed on drones that crash into the ocean. Yes, <laughs> it's covered in peace. It's lost. Let it go. What were you up to, Jordan? Um, anything? 
No, like what, what do you what do you call it? I've been I've been getting like half days off on Friday. I was like, uh, this this week, man, is adventures in sleep deprivation. I had a I had a migration I need to do that. Like, I finished about like eighty percent of it at like two o'clock in the morning. Slept for four hours. Yeah. got up and and finished the rest of it off. Then, you, you you may have been exposed to that during your, during Young and Blood, where I'm like, oh, gotta, there's we, a Nazi over there. There there's some gems of like standing right next to Jordan. Like we're looking at the same drone, and I shoot it, and you're like. Did you get like some power to knock down? What what happened to that crow? Uh, so uh, you know what? Let's just get through this one, <laughs> dude. dude I, I I I I am stupid after hard workouts and after like not sleeping for a while. Like my brain just goes complete dog shit. It's that was just the thing, man. Unfortunately, we didn't have the horse with us because the horse would have jumped straight up in the right in the air, nommed the drone, taken it down, not giving us any issues. I mean, it, it can't do that anymore because it's dead. We've beaten it to death over all these seven years. It's yes. the Steam Athletics. Boom. Oh man, it has it been a year already since Valve has been trying to automate their storefronts and their review system and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, um, they, you know what? The the Steam Labs experiment has actually been kind of a success because there were a couple things like uh, community recommendations, interactive recommendations, play next, and so on, like that have actually per, uh, been uh, graduated to like actual Steam proper features. Uh, they talk about like the successes and failures, but like clearly, clearly they're interested in like improving Steam as a platform to improve discoverability and make sure people can find the games they want, which is something we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> they have some, they have some features in development now. They got, uh, they're doing better, re testing a better resolution of tag and metadata searches, which will hopefully help get you the games you want faster and micro trailers, five seconds, Ooh. a new way to, a new way to judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Five seconds. What? Okay, <laughs> man. Come on. Think about it. Things you can do in five seconds, not that thing. Um, hey, that I, takes me seven seconds. <laughs> Give me some credit. Uh, I didn't know we had an endurance champion among us. But. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Marathon over here. Five seconds. You that that's. Uh, do you remember the? Have, did you ever go back and watch like the original Max Headroom where they had the blip verts? No, that, that, I've not, I've not. It was a commercial compressed into like four, three to five seconds that ended up causing people to explode in their chairs because of the information. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. I, I, I like the Futurama one where they just like beam dreams about underwear into your brain while you're sleeping. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that, man. What are your thoughts, Pedro? Um, you know, some of the... Uh, like the automated show uh, where they had like two to 30 minute long videos with a bunch of games that they shelved. Yeah, uh, just about anyone with the YouTube channel could have told you that that would happen. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you actually go look at the Linux game cast, uh, <laughs> see how long uh, people hang around. It's like after two minutes. <laughs> gone uh but yeah uh and the uh the deep dive one you know what that in one... people's defenses we've had time stamps for a long time now and that's usually uh yes that's a segment <laughs> now people it's piecemeal but again people don't watch long form content man no yeah. they jump in like i want to know about that peace out so yeah, the five second ones actually make sense in that context. Uh, but the other one that they also shelved was deep dive which to me always felt a bit redundant because you already had like the uh discover queue if you want to engage with that particular thing uh you would just get like a list of games like 10 or 11 games and you'd say oh i like that put it on my wish list or i i don't like that just hide it from me mm -hmm. and that's it the, and deep dive was more of that you just picked a specific game and it showed you recommendations based on those game and the other games that you played it's like uh, uh why? Well, you know what, Pedro? <laughs> Some other people have a problem with all of these features, and they just wish, just maybe, possibly. It's it, it's too hard. It's too hard to find games on Steam. There's so yeah. much information. This comes from <laughs> PCGamer.com, man. Steam has become exhausted because you know what? You can't have it both ways, man. You know, it's. <laughs> This this is basically. <laughs> wait wait wait! Hold, way, hold on, we we got we got to watch Henry Cavill. 
We gotta watch Henry Cavill in a tank top build a PC, you guys. Of course we do. Where's he at? Oh, hi. Yeah. Hello, Henry Cavill. We'll, we'll take a little break. That kind of broke the internet, did it? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, he's. I mean, you so have hot. a nice uh, man hunk building a PC, and you have all of the nerds and all of the non nerds kind of drooling over that particular no, video. Y'all you, 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 you missed him. Then you get the special breed of asshole um, like us that straight up just went in there, watched it. Like, are you doing that right? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I, I mean, y'all were y'all were missing when he was on Twitch painting Warhammer figures, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Henry Cavill <laughs> gatekeeping. Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't get you don't get to watch The Witcher until Cavalism. you paint Warhammer figures. Man, I hadn't even played The Witcher until I watched it. It's like, all right, I gotta go back and play it. So this is about a uh, thousand words too many ah. saying, "Oh no, Steam sales." Uh, I they can just be sales. Why do they have to have games? Has that ever really hung anyone up? I mean, like, oh, look, because I always like look and like, oh, yeah, look at that. All. that that's an entire load of bullshit that I don't care anything about. If I get points, rewards, badges, whatever, that just happens. OK, nothing will ever happen with them. I don't if you ignore it, there's it doesn't get in your way. Or maybe it's just me, man. Maybe I'm just blind to all the rampant gamification. I think we're exposed to enough of that that we probably don't really care. Uh, <laughs> although this is a writer for PC Gamer who himself at the end of the article says it's like, oh yeah, most of my day job is all about uh, looking at Steam and spending a lot of time on the platform and doing stuff in Steam. It's like, yeah. I have a full-time job, and I can do all of that, and I still manage to, if I like the uh, little mini-games that come with the sales, like the previous one, that you got the points and you could buy, like, uh, borders for your avatar and backgrounds, animated backgrounds for your Steam profile. It's like, yeah, I could still get those and get through the game and get the badges, and it didn't really take any time away from the my last one i tried job. to participate in was the like race <laughs> with the different animals and stuff i had no yeah. idea what the fuck i was doing but i'm, I'm right. helping because i i'm hip and young oh, i know i'm fucking whatever all right yeah <laughs> Team Corgi. I, 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 I don't know because like if like his job is to just stare at steam all the time yeah i can see why that would get exhausting for you right. but like <laughs> Cons considering we just spent like five minutes talking about all the shit steam is doing to like improve visibility of the games like I, I I think this is kind of like this is like your ivory tower gripe. Oh no, the 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 guy who feeds me grapes is too slow. Eh. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, like the whole article. Besides being very poorly written, and this is PC gamer, Ooh. they are exactly the paragons of you know <laughs> video wow, game scripture. Wow. But yeah, no, the whole article is just a load of wank. <laughs> yeah hey man some people got quotas to me shut up um <laughs> hey, hey, listen man you just gotta move to the epic game store where there's no shopping cart what you gotta or... do is stop hammer time doom, doom, doom. no man <laughs> yeah no the uh stop button it finally you know when you launch a game with the new library the stop button finally does something for the native games because it used to uh with the proton games if you hit stop it would just kill the proton prefix and the game was dead. Now, it also stops native games. That was the one Linux specific fix that they had in there. Dear Valve, on behalf of Vin, you motherfuckers. Um, that, I, I've just been hammering on that feel good button. That, that's like a traffic crosswalk <laughs> button. Didn't have anything behind it. Like, man, fine. Cause I mean, if it was Proton, it's like, eh. Well, here's, here's the thing, though, because I genuinely have always felt like, well, let's try to shut it down cleanly the right way. Let's not, you know, after you hammer on Ulta 490 times, like, all right, fine, kill all. You want some kill nah, nine? Nah. Yeah. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm team Ulta 4 to pay respects. It's like, okay, that works. I think yeah. I've pressed that yeah. button once. Okay. <laughs> well, dude, this is like what I like that button because this, this keyboard, unfortunately, like the, all the function keys are like these are this is like a nice membrane keyboard but this shit's all chiclets up top so there's no satisfaction in alt f4 so it's like alt then click like uh. oh no the f4 we're, we're, when we're, i release it it doesn't satisfying chunk. 
I, I, I can't do the speed Vulcan grip, man. Like, eh. uh, the, 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 the one thing I wish that button would do is we're, we're going to talk about a project in the news segment that I think that would be that would be a good feature for that button. Mm. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll get to that a little bit later. There's some new proton for your face. Oh, shit. If you want to carry there on, there is. And they, um, well, there was a big, big game that was released this week, which was um, Rita, Death Stranding. Rita and the Creepy Fetus. Yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> with with and, Guillermo uh, del Toro and Hannibal. Yep. The and musical. of course, you know, Valve is like, oh, that's a big profile game. Let's see if it works on the Protons. And apparently it didn't. So they released a Proton 5.0-10 release candidate, which is up now for testing. You can just opt into the next branch if you right click on Proton in your Steam library. Just, uh, yeah, select the next branch and it'll download this uh, current RC. And yep, it, what it does is it let's death stranding start they do have the caveat that uh if you have nvidia you should be using 440 100 or 450 57 which you probably should be on one of those two because those are like the latest ones so yeah but it does yeah, have another that, feature it. it uh does add one new thing to proton oh yeah it's the latest proton next uh prevents uh wolfenstein a young blood from connecting <laughs> Oops. I, I, Oops. I, I, I mean, like, the day of the week will stop. You'll both we'll find young blood from true. connecting. I mean, it's a weekly, like, there are, it, there's a reason we're early before we go live, because it's to play the yeah. mini game before we play the regular game. Ad, ad, adventures in debugging, yeah. Um, and it's like, well, what, what can you do? I'm going to log out. I'm going to log back in. Now you log out and log back okay. in. Let's see, let's, let's see what the magic the, combination is this week. Like, I can see you. All right. And then sometimes it's like, fuck you, disconnect. It's like straight to desktop, man. Oh, it's, it's it's good, yeah, dude. Uh, I good on Valve for like looking at that and be like, hey, a lot of people want to play with Norman Reedus's creepy fetuses, and they just got on it, and it's a DX12 exclusive game too. So I mean, this wasn't like, oh, this would be easy, and so hey, nah, uh, I'm 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 on the fence about it because I really really love Kojima and his wackiness, but like that game does not respect your time. It requires like. 40 some odd hours like on the fast track but, yeah <laughs> so what's your total time in ftl uh my total time in ftl is something like 300 hours i, I there, there there was a while where i was playing it quite a bit um, does that game respect I, your time yeah it does because uh because like ultimately the 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 missions are short like you you can you can do you can a run in under an hour easily <laughs> yeah yeah so this game doesn't have like save points between an hour it do, it does, but in order to like progress the game, that you have to that continue in playing itself, it? like Skyrim, you have to, yeah, and uh, you have to get through some really really boring segments where literally all you're doing is uh, carrying a lot of stuff and wading through mud really slowly, and yeah. you need to do that to progress. <laughs> well, but like, th there's all sorts of features of the game that I really like, like how stuff you build shows up in other people's games and so on and so forth. And actually now is a probably if, if they do the crossplay between uh, PC and uh, PS4, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of infrastructure already built. So and we do need to point out there's a couple of like valve, like glasses and stuff that you can get in the game now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, and don't the, forget um, to drink Monster Energy drink people. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, striders, what, you, have to, yeah, you, you have to fight French people in, yeah. in Death Stranding? I didn't realize that. It's terrifying. I mean, they're high as a kite, but it's great. It's, it's great. Yeah, you that's, that, that's what like, their handprints are. They're like, oh man, this glass is so smooth, They're just man. going around shouting fuck Riot Games or something like that. Super hot. Mind control delete. Yeah, this is the uh, newest super hot game that has come out. It continues the... Uh, Bas it basically uh, continues and advances the gameplay from uh, the original Super Hot, where they give you a lot more weapons, a lot more characters, um, smarter enemies, some upgrade mechanics so that you can like customize your experience and a whole bunch more. If you bought the original Super Hot before Thursday this of this last week, you get this one for free. Otherwise, you got to pay forty odd bucks. But like Ooh. Super Hot is a it's a good game. Like wait, it, I'm, it, not, it, I'm, not, I'm not clear. Do you is this like DLC or is this standalone? This this Settle is a up. new game. It's okay, standalone. so I don't have to buy yeah. the first one, then this one. No, no, no. It's okay. just if you have the first one, they give you this one for free. All right. You can get it in a bundle yeah, yeah, for $21. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, Ethan, Ethan posted this on uh, on Twitter, though. Apparently it ships with Chromium, and there's, like, some stuff you can do to stop the game from stuttering too much. I included... It's it's basically relinking your CA search file, because apparently they're doing a lookup <laughs> on that. I don't I don't know. Why, why, I agree with Ethan. Why are, why are you shipping Chromium with your game? Question mark. <laughs> Hey, man, they're, they're prototyping <laughs> the Electron, Electron game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, I, man. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> that, that's just canvas, man. Come on. It's, you know, a little web assembly. Like, it, 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 it's, it's just getting worse. What we need now is DirectX 12 via Electron. That would that, be the... Perfect. You know, um, in the future, when they play this back, and they're like, "Yes, he's the one responsible for giving me the idea." That's why he's incarcerated. Oh yeah, well, they're, well, they're, they're, they're going to send some robots back in time to John Connor me. You're going to see little robot snakes, and you're like, "Just roll with it, baby." Yeah. All Snake right. Bots. Unspotable. Unspotable. Yeah. Uh, so it comes with a free demo. It's apparently coming out sometime in 2020. And it's multiplayer. Where's Waldo? Um, so I downloaded the demo. Um, and as it turns out, you need to have uh, four remote players or four controllers plugged in to like even get into a game. I had three handy, so I gave up. Um, yeah. And apparently it all relies on split screen. I just want to say like fucking screen cheat implemented split screen over network. And it worked. Mm -hmm. Uh I I don't know if you're if you're going to be doing a game like this, have online multiplayer, you guys. No, otherwise there is no reason no one people is gonna... can get together in their houses in large groups and play. I I don't know, like yeah, no, especially the, the... at this point in time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bro, the, I I have I have this problem uh, with this requires uh, maybe... precisely fuck or all for Steam <laughs> yeah. processor. That's it. Oh, you need Steamios. Um, Steam Steamos, uh, Steamos. Or, uh, it's my favorite yeah. breakfast cereal. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, it seems like it could be fun, but like remote play is not there yet. It's good enough for some stuff. I think it might be good enough for this game, but mm, I would rather have like proper online support. Yes. Devs. I, I, mean, I don't think anyone's arguing with you on that one. <laughs> no, how dare you say something so brave yet controversial? Oh. <laughs> so, this happened. This is the thing beyond the steel sky. It's out. Revolution Software Limited um, from the multi award winning Revolution comes beyond a steel sky. It's groundbreaking 3D adventure thriller set in an AI driven future. You got to subvert the world, man. That's hard. That world would be like, hey, man, I see what you're up to. Uh, we we, we got to revert you, man. Hack the systems and solve <laughs> dark conspiracies, light conspiracies, gray conspiracies. Fuck that noise. We're only dealing with dark conspiracies over here and a little bit of devastating truth. So I watched this trailer because I know somebody in Discord was like, oh, my God, it's out. It's out. I can't wait to play it. So I'm like, fuck, I got to check this trailer out. I watched the old trailer. A. Good job on, like, really not showing any gameplay. Um, B, I have fuck all clue what it's about. Um, okay. So, uh, so, uh, so like, this is made by the people who made Broken Sword? See, if you so, showed me that, I would have said, holy fuck, they've re-remastered um, the LucasArts game. No, um, what's his name with the motorcycles? Oh, uh... Full Throttle. Full throttle. Yeah. Full throttle, yeah. <laughs> so, so like, no, I, I, I it is made by the Broken Sword people, so it is Broken Sword of Steel Sky. To it's a three D um thirty four adventure game. <laughs> yeah, I, I so I mean, like, I I played a lot of the original uh, because like it it ran via scum. The game itself was free. That and like Flight of the Amazon Queen were the two free. Yep. Um, public domain uh scum games um so i played a lot of it in class instead of paying attention because it was one of the few games in the fedora repos and i actually i actually kind of liked it um i'm glad to see that there is a native sequel out i don't know i, I think that the not quite cell shaded art style is going to take me a minute to get used to because like does it look crappy or is it just like that weird cell shading see i what i need to do is watch tell me more on this later actually uh <laughs> an actual game trailer in 2020 is called twitch and watch somebody fucking play the game. <laughs> yes <laughs> I, I mean i mean that's that's kind of true right like that there that's why that's why influencers influencers yeah. which apparently we are a part of that class yeah. uh yeah we, we basically exist to promote games that's why otherwise they'd be like no you can't show our yeah, product I think the more to other correct people thing is like some some developers have made the mistake of thinking that of us but um 
Yeah. That's on well, them. Well, <laughs> well I, 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 I mean, don't think the, we've the, the, led anyone. <laughs> right, right. Well, I mean, I mean, if we started to, we'd be fucking rich, right? Right, you oh, guys. <laughs> dude, if we played the fucking game, yeah. But hey, we're only going to show hardware. Stick around for the hate mail on that one. <laughs> In, indeed. Coming up next, the reign of RTX is coming to a close. Long live RTX. And it's time that you be delivered a segment entirely about chilling. Well, calling it a segment is a bit of Did a stretch. Did you say it's... chilling or chilling? He said illing. Yes. Illing. Illing. <laughs> word. It's just illing. Like yeah. Microsoft word? <laughs> yeah, write that, letters and shit, yo. That, that would piss people off. Yeah. <laughs> Office 365 brought to you by Linux Gamecast. We, Click we, on our affiliate link. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, speaking of affiliate links, head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over that support button. We got all sorts of things like affiliate links. Actually, that's under the affiliate banner. But We whatever. have affiliate we links got, that do not sponsor the show, at least if we said that, Amazon would get very angry at us. Indeed. Yes, the, uh, they we, we, do not support us in any way. Hey, look, indeed. there's but a thing we, I we, made that Patreon's got early access to. Oh man! But in addition to the the, the PayPal's and the bitcoins, yeah, you can head on over to Patreon.com/slash Linux Gamecast. <laughs> give us some yes. support. Give us some Bitcoin. <laughs> give us give us some Dogecoin. Give us some like Dentacoin. Whatever crypto you have lying around, just send send it our way. It's oh worth yeah, something, apparently right? Dogecoin shot up like crazy. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna talk about miners in a minute, but yeah, Patreon gets you some cool stuff like access to our Discord channel. It gets you the pre pre super chosen. Uh, this week there's no video, but usually there is. You can show up at seven. This week uh, and... was the good old fashioned shits on fire, yo. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this this week you get a bit of a truncated pre pre super chosen. It's 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 not feature complete, but it's about as well tested as any given Windows update. Dude, so. Do you remember the um, like robot in the Simpsons that Homer made? He was like Vaza. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Father, why did you abandon me? <laughs> Ew. Uh, but, yeah, um, uh, yeah, you can get access to our show notes too. Help us form the show. Become part of that Cocaine Voltron, as Ben said at the very beginning. Uh, we got a store too. Uh, shop.linuxgamecast, or store.linuxgamecast.com, not shop.linuxgamecast.com. Don't, we go, got don't t-shirts. go to the first link. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the LGC sex toy shop. Um, we got we 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 got, we got t shirts. We got stickers. We got coaster. We don't got coasters. We got uh, Wait, do we? Though. We should we should have no coasters. coasters. Why not? We could have coasters. <laughs> yeah, we could do coasters. I don't see why not. Um, but yeah, we got, we got lovely designs for you. I got the use me. I gotta I gotta dig that shirt out. That's somewhere in like the pile of washed clothes that I have somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how, how, how many uses is it good for before it's like, nah? Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe two days, depending how much I'm sweating. All right, right on. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, we we got uh, what we got wish lists. We got store yep. wish lists. Uh, if you buy us stuff off the wish list, a you get to send us a note that we got to read on camera, and b you get to be on the Glaro board right above Ven's head. So, well, I mean, I guess the next one will be behind Ven's head. But no, whatever. you see, you see these people right here. That that check cleared. They're protected. They're, they're in the um, yeah. witness protection. <laughs> so exactly. Basil, Lartharon, and Aldius don't... <laughs> you dox them, you idiot! No. <laughs> now people know their <laughs> usernames! <laughs> you monster! How dare you! <laughs> Going out like I came in. Uh, uh, fuck you. Uh, all right, all right. I, 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 let, let, let's pull the brakes on this train wreck. <laughs> We, 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 we got we got some art, new RTX and some dead RTX. Yeah, we do. Uh, starting off with that, man, just want to give this a mention on uh, WCF Tech. Again, everything's in our show notes after the fact. Um, NVIDIA ends production of the GeForce RX 2. I wish they just made a 20 just to fuck with people. Um, don't get any ideas, NVIDIA. Uh, Turing series has GeForce RTX 30 Ampere. Uh, it's coming out. So they're like, yo, we're going to tap the brakes on the production facilities. I'm the GeForce RTX on Sun. So that's going to get rid of your 2080 Ti, 2080 Super, 2070 Super, 2070. Nothing said about the 2060 uh, caped edition, to which I will say, good. Why? Because, yeah. yes. because when product lines get discontinued, Strider's law goes into effect, and <laughs> that means... It doesn't happen. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. See, I'm like the most evil fucko alive. I want 
a 2060 Super or maybe an old 2070. I just want 8 gigs of RAM to help render this damn show a little quicker and do some stuff like motion graphics. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to that because, you know, you get that dive, then you get people selling this. I mean, second that's announced, man, head to eBay, kids. Yeah, well, yeah. And, 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 and I mean, like, so the, the article says as much, according according to it, uh, miners are back. Apparently, there's a bit of a crypto boom, and they're here for the remaining uh, 2070, 2080 stock. So those prices may not drop the way you expect. Um, as as for as for the 30 series, I don't know. I'm I'm I've come to the point where I just expect Nvidia to slap the most ridiculous price tag they can on it because okay. AMD is not really competing with them. Uh, uh, let, let's. Let's etch these words into Linus's teeth. Um, mm. Do you think, under and over, mm -hmm. NVIDIA is going to try consumer? This is not going to be like, this is a workstation card, wink, like they did uh, before. But they're really genuinely going to market a gaming card that's going to hit two grand. US. I, I, I believe that. Like... At the very, I I would say that's like sixty forty odds. Like that's it's pretty good. I think they're gonna try to pull it off, huh? The I, RTX why, why, Titan why was what fifteen hundred. So yeah, yeah, this is fifteen hundred for the RTX Titan and twelve hundred for the twenty eighty Ti. So I'm gonna say they're probably going to go full Intel and try to do like the thirty eighty. At seventeen hundred, well, they're going to have to thirty eighty Ti slash Super. You're forgetting mm. they're going to have to compete <laughs> against Navi RDNA two, which is going to be slightly faster than the cards they're getting rid of. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking if forward. It matches up with the twenty eighty. That that's that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I'm 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 looking forward to like five hundred dollar mid range like sixty cards like thirty sixty or whatever. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I want something accessibly prized. Uh, They've already stated that those are not going to come out until because much I'm still later. on a 1080 <laughs> and it's mm. still pretty good. Well, this is like the <laughs> true true for playing video games. Hundred percent, like legit. I have not ran into a game at this original Founders Edition 26. You just can't handle it. 1080p, man. It's like all day yeah. long, man. So like, if I was just playing games, I'd be done. Wouldn't care. They, they they have to basically announce that the 3080 is a blowjob machine for me, and then I might consider buying it. Because, yeah, like, my 1080 Ti curbs most things I throw at it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, if it does blowjobs, uh... <laughs> if... Right, like, it, and, and it gives you an ice cream sundae afterwards? The you know, maybe. Thing, like, genuinely the only thing okay. that could tempt... I would see, like, the top tier, but, you know, much later after they release, like, the 3060 version. It depends on what they do with NV encode their encoding engine because if they do something crazy with that then i might be like uh, uh fine um because i didn't get a <laughs> yeah. 20 series until a 2060 came out and i didn't even think about it I'm like nope i'm riding this 980 into the ground i mean i mean that, that that's how you grab a venstone by the dick right like if you want if you want Ven to switch <laughs> over to amd amd man get on some like good capture shit yeah that that will get my yeah, attention yeah good encoder good hardware encoder just do uh, it. Looking forward to it. <laughs> so we get some. Um, we, uh, I'm going to say. Bad Blake's gamers are a bunch of cheaters, man. Well, you might remember the um, unofficial BattleNet clan. Battle Eye. Battle Eye. Battle Eye. Yeah. That didn't have um, an official Linux client, and it was one of those things like easy anti cheat that, that didn't work on Linux and stopped games from working on fair. Linux. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, at, at, at secret.club, um, this guy. Uh, this guy. Uh, well, the the repo itself has been taken down due to DMCA claim. We'll get we'll get to that a little bit. The background here is this guy uh, made a essentially something that will disable Battle Eye. He reverse engineered the protocol. He got away to like get it to pass the check. He was playing Fortnite, which uses Battle Eye, and he was able to PUBG. like get into the game or or PUBG. Sure, uh, one, one one of those mobas. They're all kind of the same in my brain. Um, <laughs> but any but anyways, yeah, he got he got it working, and then you know immediately. DM DMCA. Uh, he, he goes through the entire reverse engineering process. He like shows you the data structures and whatnot. Um, yeah, here's 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 the thing though. Like Ven, you you bring up a very good point. Like that's really not how DMCA's are supposed to work. This and they did post. They, but go. On. No, no, no. 
I was just gonna say they they did actually post the claim. Get mm -hmm. posted the claim that uh, Battle Eyes sent in. It's like, yeah, we we own this protocol. Blah blah blah. You're, they're pirating. I'm like, dude, it's it's fucking numbers. You can't copyright numbers. Well, even, I if mean, is, according... it, even if it is copyrighted, the whole thing is at least in North America here is reverse engineering 100 percent covered, and that was established with a little company called IBM. Man, when they <laughs> other companies reverse engineered Clean Room. You can't do shit about it. Deal with it, fucko. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, this, it's, this, uh, let, let Pedro take a turn. Oh, <laughs> the the thing about uh, copywriting or even attempting to patent um, APIs and protocols and everything else, according to the current result of the Oracle v Google, yes, you can. You Wait, can't Pedro, absolutely Pedro, Pedro, copyright Pedro, them. Pedro, somebody's knocking on them. What's it? They say they're Oracle. Who's that knocking Oracle. on your door? <laughs> they say you can eat dicks, Pedro. Why are they saying <laughs> You've angered yeah, Larry uh, Ellison's boat. So Run away. To that particular lawsuit, you can for this whole absolutely. Purpose of suing Google, what? <laughs> you can absolutely uh, copyright uh, APIs and uh, code in much the same vein. But this is... Besides the point, I mean, the DMCA is honestly just DMCAing that repo is like the least that they could actually do. Well, because it's a, it's a, it's a, they're using it incorrectly. It's a false DCMA claim because well, DMCA is not a gag order. That is already it, it, have it. And it's not. It, it, it isn't. And even then, this is like some fucking Streisand effect shit. The source code exists. Just because you take down the public repo does not mean that the checked out repo on everyone else's computer is not, is, is gone, right? I want um, you to march right into their office and tell their get marketing guy that. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, uh, I, I put it, I put it in the show notes. The game genie's kind of out of a bottle now. Um, but I, again, you can... You can kind of use it as a gag order in that you can buy yourself some time to mount a cease and desist or a lawsuit and then try to exhaust your opponent's legal you can fund, which I think... legally use it. Yes. Because it's not illegal usage. Well, I mean, if we're doing literal law, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not a... None of us here lawyers. So. <laughs> right. Um, but go, 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 going, going back to the Oracle v. Google thing, I like the fact that the first judge who ruled in Google's favor was like an actual mathematician and a programmer. Yeah. And then they're like, mm -hmm. not, I'm going to appeal this to someone who doesn't know what the fuck they, they're need talking to take about. This to Texas, maybe. Yeah. Can we get over there? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I will say this is like, don't use bottle eye. Even if you have the get checked out on, on your show, PC. Man. Just like, do not mess around with this unless you've got an account. You just want to scorch because it's just bypassed it, man. So Yeah, th this is straight up cheating because you're not actually using battle eye servers to, ver uh, to verify that you are in fact playing legitimately. So you are cheating and you don't really want to give developers more ammunition to call Linux gamers something. Just I don't fucking. I don't do it. think we necessarily right? have to worry I'm about gonna call much him a in duck. the way of cheating on this because this would require work. It's difficult and cheaters are lazy as fuck. And come on, they yeah. Time to get going. <laughs> I, I, I think I think there was an app image for this though, so I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. S Ooh, stop! Our stop! Dogs. All right, so uh, this is uh, Nernia, Narnia, whatever. Uh, um, Nernia. It's, it's so. Nerna. So, um, one, one, one handy thing that uh, consoles have over PC gaming is you can hit spend. Uh, on my Switch, I do it all the time. If I'm in the middle of something, I need to get up, walk away, go do something else. I'll hit the power button. It'll go and say suspend. I'll, and then I can pick it up where I left off. The, uh, that has not really been implemented on PC until now. Dun, dun, dun. Only on so Linux. this is like a save state, right? Emulator. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah, you can you can save the current state of the game, walk away. I can think of quite a few games where like they don't let you save anytime you want. So like, okay, I got about half an hour in. I got a phone call. I got to go do something. You're kind of screwed. You either have to leave the game running. This lets you let's let you pause one game at a time. So you know it's on if your Bluetooth's connected, right? Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I mean, it's 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 kind of sideways Bluetooth. Um, yeah, but so, horizontal Bluetooth. The, um, uh, it seems to work with most games. Um, oh, look he's, at say, he's, he's saying, no oh. yeah, it's yeah, Master it, Chief it, with the fur, indeed. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it, see, no, it seems bring to work. Back the uh, the pause button. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're they're working on Windows support though. I'm glad to see like yeah, we got we got this working under Linux. Uh, Windows is kind of the afterthought. Well, 
Uh, Windows is be. understandably probably a bit more complicated to implement this on yeah. accounts of black box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Win Windows. Yeah. Also, yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a cool tool. I mean, I, I would like to see that available in all repos because yeah, man. Sometimes you're just like, we need to time out, or there's an emergency coming up, and you don't have time to like haul back to where you know the game's going to save. Yeah. And sometimes you just want to be a cheaty bitch. So <laughs> what I what 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 I want is the Steam stop button to use this fucking thing. <laughs> I don't no, want the Steam stop button, button, button cutting pause. on my Bluetooth. That's you're insane. <laughs> right. Go away. <laughs> no, no, man. Bl Bluetooth, Bluetooth is great, great. What, what do you do in Mississippi when skies are slippy? Um, Ishuruka. Yes. Um. Okay. Ishuruka. Um, <laughs> Ishuruka two point two zero is has been released, and um, there are some major updates. But if you're like me and you don't actually know what the heck a project slippy is or what ishiruka is within um project slippy you're not alone because i had to actually go look it up so basically project slippy is a community effort around hang on, hang the on. um what, what was your first guess i fuck all idea <laughs> some, <laughs> I some, read some kind of lubricants like, what the fuck it's like oh i see something about dolphins wii u adapter mode it's like all right okay but no it, it's a community effort around uh super smash brothers melee the uh old old game that you can play in dolphin and what this is trying to do is basically allow for people to capture replays as perfect as possible I to allow it. for building for windows you know paragraph, paragraph. <laughs> linux build <laughs> see make make Done. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the the, <laughs> the way that they do it is basically they just let people really get into their video game crack of choice. Uh, it's like those people that are already massively indulged in Super Smash Brothers Melee, now they have an extra tool to help them along. Hmm. Yeah. Including pulling rates on the controllers and you can actively configure it's like how many times per second your controller is pulling it's like really <laughs> you know dude dude, dude the, the the competitive smash community is like they're they're, they're, they're kind of crazy in that <laughs> so there 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 is straight up a, a, a technique that most of the, the most of the top players use in melee that you need a specific revision of the controller to pull off mm -hmm. and people who rage quit and smash their controllers are literally make it harder for uh for <laughs> these guys to like wave dash yeah well, I like that they have the app image and, you know, that net code rollback for the types that are like, what do you do? I play Smash Bros. And what, what do you mean? And um, <laughs> Smash Bros. Life. Get out of here. That's it's a fun game. I've seen, you know, th these are the type of people that have CRTs, you know, mm -hmm. period. It's like as minimum latency as possible. <laughs> and they still lose. Um... <laughs> But let's keep the Nintendo train alive with SM64 redrawn. This is kind of neat. This is kind of beautiful. I, um, just out of curiosity, I saw this, and it's this compu a complete community effort to redo all the textures in the Super Mario 64 port, you know, the disassembly. It's like, and I've never played this. I was kind of out of uh, console gaming by the time this rolled around. So I went to the GitHub, downloaded the Marios, and compiled it, installed this. This took longer to install than it did to compile Mario 64. And it's pretty, man. Uh, in a very tiny window, I didn't look so far as to um, see how to increase that like 640 <laughs> by... It's about that big on my UHD monitor. And it's like, but, but it looks so <laughs> sharp. Serpent in the stag blinds mode. Just <laughs> Yeah. Would do. <laughs> and SDL2 support because I reached over, booped the x controller and I'm like, hey, look, Mario's moving around. That's neat. Maybe I'll ever come back and play that game. I don't know, man. Yeah. Uh, manually drawing all the uh, textures for Super Mario 64 at 12 times the size is definitely a project. That's mm -hmm. definitely quite yep. a bit of work. I'm 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 just looking forward. I'm I'm just taking bets on like how long until the Nintendo season to 64 comes down and uh <laughs> Reverse engineering, and Nintendo hasn't been able to touch the um, bite perfect decompile of it because, mm. yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's all they provided was like, though. This is the decompile, 
If you want to build it, you're on your own, but this is the decompile, <laughs> so they can't touch that. But, you know, no assets are showing. I, I, Nintendo's <laughs> looking to do something, because Nintendo is genuinely like a fuck all, like whatever. We just do yeah, what we want. Yeah, they might target the assets, because it's like, no, that's our intellectual property. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> it's fan art. Like, don't care, we're Nintendo. <laughs> Fa- wow. Fan, fan art doesn't actually have a lot of legal protection, though, so... No. It's basically, so. is the creator okay with your fan art? No? Then you're fucked. Yep. <laughs> All we're saying is, please, Nintendo don't. Okay. Yeah. Doom <laughs> FX for Super Nintendo. All right, whatever. With Super FX, okay. Yeah, source goes out. That's right. It's there. Well, it was. What happened to it? Boop. There it is. Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to look at this outside of if you ever wanted to see assembly from the old old times the dark days and you know maybe the duke nukem 64 asset uh conversion to you know modern pcs from last week that was a little too mainstream for you all this makes me go well it makes me step back and go okay this is the underpinning so we could build our own super noah's ark 3d yeah yeah we could finally now with more Jesus. get the PC version of that. And it's like, <laughs> life would be complete at this point. But I wanted to throw that in there in case anybody wanted to go play with it, dig through it. And it, it's good to have stuff like that, if just for archival purposes. But it has is so, there. Did has, you ever play Doom on the SNES? Wasn't, I, I know no, Nintendo I, had like I, I, weird I, laws, like where things don't bleed. I, I didn't have a SNES. Um... What I, what, I, what I was going to say is, like, has someone, like, made a copy of, like, Super Noah's Ark or whatever, but, like, with Doom Guy, so you can kill the animals? I wouldn't bet against it because of the internet. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I, 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 I do want to see that. Please, please send us a mate mail with a link to that. <laughs> Pedro, what is this? This is Open Simulator. It's, um... On their own words, it's a virtual world where developers are allowed to customize their worlds using uh, the technologies that they feel work best. And uh, basically the way that they've done it is basically they want to create and simulate a virtual environment similar to Second Life, but it will allow developers to use whatever kind of framework that they want to use in theory. I mean, uh, they say that, uh, like, .NET, C-Sharp, um, Mono. or Mono, if you are on um I love Linux Mono because that means somewhere on this page there is going to be something that says how to get Mono. I kissed Pedro <laughs> and then I installed the Mono. <laughs> there it is. You could just click on the thing. Getting yeah. Mono. <laughs> yeah. But, run, run, yeah you, you, can, um, you can run it in Docker. It could be a cool concept if, you know right up until the point that it gains any sort of traction, at which point it just becomes a, another cybering simulator that isn't Second Life for those people that manage well, to get doesn't banned like Second, from Life Second Life have its own community <laughs> that is, like, not just straight-up porn? Yeah, yeah I, well, I, I mean, well, Second Life was really big. I think these days the kids are on Roblox, not so much the Second Life. Most of the people still on Second Life are, like... I mean, those are actually from... kids that are actually on Roblox. I, thought I remember all the kids my little yeah, brother when GTA he was, 5. like, eight or Roll nine. Play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. The, the the one ten year old I have any exposure to just is only playing Roblox. Uh, I mean that that said, yeah. like Pedro said, the goal the goal is to like improve on the Second Life formula to like not just be a reimplementation of Second Life, but to improve that. Which you know it's not it's not a bad thing. Didn't and there are certainly fanboys Second fan Life out have a Linux client at one point. Yes, I thought so. Yeah, it seems like I thought about fucking with it for a minute. And I'm like, I no, <laughs> I played it. Okay. Uh, with I, the Linux client before it was, you know, old porn all the time. <laughs> the only interest I, I had in it was like that dude who did the video is like the giant blue dude just trolling the hell out of everyone. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, that looks like it'd be fun. Or the do you know the way with your that, that knuckles? Right. <laughs> I, I I know the way. I, yeah, I I I don't know. Like, I I kind of view Second Life as sort of like in the same hobby realm as like Flight Sim fans where like it's this really esoteric thing that, you know, some people really like, some people just don't give a shit about. And, but this yeah. is open. You could run into the other person who compiled it. And be like, stop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, oh, you installed Mono too. High five. You'll run into. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, right. it was about that time. 
All right, it's t it's time to show us our areolas for areola tournament. We're gonna judge our nips and see how good they are compared That's to one another. That's what I've been calling it. It's time to engage ass mode or nipple mode. I, I, I don't know. It's Ariola's tournament. That's what we're throwing chairs at this week. It's developed by Beyond Fun Studio on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks US. What is it? Use the power of wind to compete in the various games of the Storm Championship in this charmingly chaotic eight-player action party game. Ariola's tournament features physics-based gameplay, a tournament mode, and local online multiplayer play. Um, so the Zogo Consulting, their PR people sent us some keys, so thanks to them yeah. and to Beyond Fun Studio. Let's get into it, Ven. How did it run on the Debois? Mmm, ladies and gentlemen over here on Debian 10, running a freshly minted kernel 5.7 because I had to build it for another thing I'm doing. Um, Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs RAM, NVMe drives, with a little 2060, uh, keeping everything displayed. It's running nice and smooth, man, at 2160p, no complaints. Uh, using the X-Clone, all the buttons are in the right place. No way to remap uh, the two buttons that you end up using, but, you know, it's bright, colorful, decent animation rigging. It has a soundtrack, but nothing that really stood out to me. But I will say, where, where is windowed mode? How are you going to fuck up and make a multiplayer game without a windowed mode? Don't, don't you know, like 90% of anyone streaming anything needs this, dare I say, common option that has been invented. I can't stream it. We can't stream it. Well, you know what? I could stream it, but it'd be a massive pain in the ass to do in full screen mode. And I'm going to go out on the old limb and say that's probably the reason I've seen a grand total of one person streaming the games as I've been looking. Now, I know it's a little, you know, what came first, you know, the chicken or the chainsaw and all that, but, you know, it probably has something to do with like no one in the USA on a Saturday evening during a little thing i like to call lockdown was online playing it so i had to play with myself but i'm used to that that's not a problem now i said some stuff you didn't want to hear but stick around for this part because it's a fun little party game it is man you got football you got hockey dodgeball snowball fight boop off the island and bowl in the hole they're all enjoyable especially the hockey since my ai teammates scored like eight fucking goals in a one minute game i was like yeah it's a little buddy i just sit back and watched him go another bonus soda check this out there's nothing to learn man you can rub off an analog stick and poke a button you got this game down fam out of the box now some of you are going to complain about such a level of simplicity but you know what for a party game that's spot on you just don't drink enough now i'm only half joking when I say they should contact Atari and see if they could get released on the VCS, because we've all seen that Atari is going to release a joystick, the old school classic with the one button and the one stick. This game would suit it perfectly. Again, looks nice, simple to pick up, plenty of modes to cock around in. It's just a damn shame. Nobody's playing it in 2020. So, you know, in favor alone mode, really all I can say for it, man, is... Maybe sort of one. I don't see... This is going to be one of those unfortunate things where you have a good game, we've seen it before, and we will see it all again with just no community behind it. And that kind of gives me the sads. Yeah. On uh, Fedora 32 64-bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, yeah, it launches and holds well over 1,000 frames a second. Uh, everything is super clear on the screen, which can actually be a problem for party games like this where you can just go super character blind. I didn't run into that <laughs> here. Um, I will say this game gets the Shell Shock Award for needlessly dramatic music in the in the <laughs> menu. Um uh, there are Xbox prompt, but like Ben said, you can basically just fucking play this game with an Atari controller, so shrug emoji, I don't know. Fun-wise, well, you got two moves. You can suck, and you can blow. And the game provides you a bunch of various mini games where you can use these powers to get points in various ways, and there's also a bunch of characters that have various qualities, like more sucking power, more blowing powder, or, uh, power bottom, bottom power, yeah. Um, the games themselves are actually decently fun. It reminds me a bit of Mario Party without the pretense of having, like, the board game attached to it. I've also played a lot of these games in, like, Pokemon, uh, to grind out BP, because goddammit, I need my scissor before fighting Morty, damn it, that's, that's what I care about. Get Scyther in the bug catching contest. Find the. I don't have to trade with people because I have two Game Boys because I'm a loser. Uh, anyways, um, 
I do kind of wish there was a little bit more variety in the stuff you can do. Consistency is good, but it does kind of feel a little samey after a while. Um, but I mean, eight man multiplayer makes up for that. You can just throw like the chaos plateau in there and yeah, it becomes less about skill and more like, can I, can I survive? Um, price wise, I think $17 Canadian, $15 US. It's a little steep considering all the copies that you need. I mean, you could actually bypass this by remote play because it does support local multiplayer. And this seems like it would be simple enough that it would be playable with uh, remote play. But again, like I said earlier, not very ideal. Uh, I'll give, I'll give it three cheers. It's solid. Uh, it's unfortunate. Like Ben said, that there's no community, but it's a solid game. I think on, judged on its own merits, it's deserving of that. Yeah, and over here on KDE Neon, it launched with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. It holds 144 FERPs at 2560 by 1440 if you hit the V-Sync, so once again, Unity showing that yes, you can do that easily. Um, but you, uh, to Van's point, you can do windowed mode uh, if you edit the prefs file and you change full screen to zero and then you can set the um Now, I only thing. brought that up because they say in their fact on the forums on Steam to a customer, and they said, no, unfortunately, we do not support <laughs> windowed mode. So I'm sure they don't officially so, support it, but it's a Unity game. Oh, I completely agree with that because I, I, I didn't even go looking because I was impressed. I'm like, how did you fuck that up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah also if you have kde you could just force the window to be any size at once because kwin actually manages windows but not Go all figure. hackers pedro <laughs> but yeah no it also supports the dual shock and after the title screen it says oh press a to continue it's like but it it's 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 a dual shock and then it actually changes from the a to the cross so it's like oh press the cross to activate the uh, sucky thing. It's like, all right, okay. Uh, but you can't rebind keys. That is the one negative that I will leverage against this one. You can't rebind anything, but they have both was and the directional arrows on the keyboard mapped. And uh, yeah, on the controller, it's literally just the left analog stick and the cross. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> so yeah, no, uh, no other points duck there. And the graphics, yeah, that they, they are very much uh, like Mario Party mini game uh, style of thing. To the point where one of the characters, if you have him green, he looks very much like Luigi. And I thought Luigi was trying to knock me off the island. So for the fun, it's. Yeah, it's like someone watched our After Showsons and decided to craft a game which included our favorites. Uh, the sport ball mode, it's, it, it was that close to being sports ball, but uh, the sport ball mode cycles through like different balls. You have the soccer ball and you have the um, hand egg and you have the puck and you have the beach ball. So it's like, oh... Oh, I see what we're doing here. Uh, and it plays very similarly to uh, the Rocket Leagues. Uh, honestly, even playing against the AI as you're learning the game, it's pretty fun. And it is it is a game unabashedly about fun. That was it's kind of the issue, though, man, because I, I played against the AI and I thought, it's like, oh, I got this. Okay, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go tango with the um, unwashed mass. And Oh, just yeah. Me. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing. You kind of need a specific uh, group of people to play this with. And uh, again, that that's kind of after Chosen right there. It's like everyone is watching. It's like, oh, yeah, maybe that could be a thing. But yeah, it's party mode, multiplayer insanity, and the person with the most points wins. And if you can get that going, it's very good. So I'll give it four cheers. So so, question <laughs> bef before we head out: What was what was the dude you stuck with? I, I stuck with Shark Boy. He, yeah, he was my guy. Of course, naturally. I went with Gadget, the the one with the um, cap and the sunglasses, because okay. right. it, 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 he had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was just pirate shark all day, every day. It, it was great. So yeah, um, there you go. It's a fun game about sucking and blowing balls. Yep. Needs yep. So, you need you need some more people to make it more fun. Sucking Literally and blowing. Literally can't go wrong. Yep. All right. <laughs> Up next, we got we, we got we got we got a we got a bit of a hate mail segment. People are people are responding to things that we say, and apparently we're good at debugging. And uh, that was a nice change of pace, especially compared to last week. But hey, 
maybe <laughs> this week won't do as good for the hate mail on the upcoming weeks as uh, certainly uh, last ones did. But hey, if what? you'd like to get yeah, in touch I was with about us, to say, if you tie all that together <laughs> and you squint really hard, it was a sentence in English. <laughs> that wasn't a attempt at a sentence. I lost train of thought in the middle of it, and I thought I got it back, but clearly no, I you didn't. didn't. Man, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. On that. <laughs> he's got so, he's got yeah. full little John. <laughs> if you uh, if you would like to let me know exactly how I screwed up that particular um, intro, you can do so by going to linuxgamecast.com and hitting the contact button. LGC Weekly is usually the default show that comes pre-selected on a little choosy box uh, and you fill out the rest of the form. You can also ask Jordan for relationship advice and you can even send some feedback for that uh, Wednesday show that contains a lot less cursing. A little bit. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> so our first bit of information this week comes from Seaman. Simon, um, yeah. He says <laughs> hi, yeah. hi, hi, author of Zack Attacka X here. Just wanted to let you know that you hit the hammer on the nail regarding the score cap overflow bug in this mentioned game. It was indeed caused by a sloppy usage of a 16-bit integer. Like you said, causing it to wrap around if the past 65,535. Yeah, that's kind of like the the, the way that works. I'm I'm yeah. glad I know how I'm glad I know how <laughs> integer overflows work. A what was uh Octundai curve or Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh Octung de curve. This one. <laughs> uh, yes, light, it was light, light cycles. cycles. Yeah. Cool, man. You know, yeah. I, I think despite our best efforts, Jordan, you might have accidentally fucked up and helped somebody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, like as, again as it turns out i know how overflows work <laughs> yay year one computer science Woo! don't be mean <laughs> fine so yay. that's like the whole year point one of this jordan has yay. to be the mean year, one <laughs> that explains year one computer the science. Be mean. it was supposed to speak in coherent english and send it to <laughs> damn it <laughs> all right all right Voy, what's up, Voy Brand? All right, check this out. Voy, I know, I know most <laughs> yeah, of you. Voy. I know most of you are listening to audio. This is from Ace. So this shit shows up. Not in our hate mail. <laughs> Not from YouTube because our YouTube says uh, use the contact form at Linux. That shit gets bounced. This showed up at show.linuxteamcast.com. Somebody took their time here. And I quote: Hello. Dude, you know it's gonna be good, right? Um, hello, fellow children. Now, I do want to point out. I'm not gonna give out his email address. He says this is Drew with a different name on an email address. <laughs> like, okay, mm -hmm. but fuck ever, Drew. Um, from Voye on Amazon, a brand that focuses yeah. on gaming controllers. I'm a big fan of your channel. After watching dozens of YouTube videos, I really love your videos. I'm reaching out to see. Okay, I will give you some unsolicited advice right there. That right there. Let's anybody who's made more than two fucking videos and has an iota of, I don't know, Pedro, give me some words. What do you think? See, self, there, self, self respect, sense, sense of quality. Yeah. Like, ah, that, that just I, tells I, I, you that this, this shit's spray and pray. All right. There you go. There, I, there, there's I, some free work. I, I, hmm? I was just going to say, I, I envision strokes, like a clockwork. That is the broad strokes a clockwork right orange, there. <laughs> like a clockwork orange scenario where he's like watching LGC with his eyes pinned open. So, Ace, um, you would like to have a collaboration and a giveaway campaign. By the way, if you please, could you give me your email address? Not, I, I don't even know where to go with that. <laughs> I don't even know where to fucking go with that one, Ace. Um, we're a startup company, but we had so much support from customers around the world. The feedback received has been truly amazing. That's awesome, Ace. Uh, does this sound in does, does this sound interested? Pedro, did you write this? This is a prank. <laughs> Oh, come on. I just comma splice. I don't do that. If so, comma. Um, I would really love to get in touch and begin a collaboration that would bring value to both our audience. Have a nice day, Ace. So what, what the fuck's a voyee brand anyway, man? Yeah, voyee! And then you start breakdancing, yeah, right? That, that's... It's, 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 like, it's like Dr. Zaius. 
I looked them up. I looked them up and they are on Amazon UK. Uh, and it's like, oh, wait a second. I've seen that controller before. Yeah, they do the uh, totally look alike, but not actually um, third party controllers for, well, they don't wait, do that. Hang on. This they just a, buy the Chinese ones. Xbox one now. Never mind. X clones up in the closet. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, they buy the Chinese controllers and they slap their branding that, on them. That looks particularly like would break the first time you try. This looks like something that would come with like a prey station. <laughs> that the, 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 the GameCube <laughs> the GameCube controllers look like they would straight up stick to your hand after using them for like more than a minute. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> um <laughs> Honestly, the the only one that they had uh, under their brand that looks all right is the Xbox One that had like the green highlights with actual different textures on the grips and the the rest of the controller. Mm -hmm. I, I, that I don't one know, looked man. all right, but these I, there's the Amazon three different look brands solid? that I could see. Yeah, th there are three different brands that I could see that sold that particular controller. So. Uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, man. Uh, so, as, uh, uh, since you're addicted, should we collab? I mean, I'm gonna get to it, but all right. Um, since you watch all of our videos and you're addicted to our show, <laughs> I know I don't have to write you back because you're listening to me right now because you just can't help yourself because you're so awesome and uh, you're dying for this collaboration, Ace. Um. I don't think I need to give you an email address because how the fuck do you think this got to me in the first place? That's a goddamn <laughs> mental juggernaut you are, motherfucker. What you can Very do much. is uh, if you want to send the three of us, and this is going to fucking cost you, son, because you got to hit America, you got to hit Canada, and you got to hit Britannia with uh, some of your products so we can see may maybe we're completely wrong. Now, I will eat shit, and I will gladly eat shit publicly, and I've done it before, and it can happen again. If they are better than what they look like, um, before we agree to have a collaboration, Ace, and give people things that are just going to fucking break. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, yeah, and you can have them back if we decide not to go ahead. We'll pay you. You can have shipping. mine back, but I don't think you want to touch mine after I'm done with it. <laughs> so there you go. There's your public service announcement from your friends. Athletics Game Cast because on that bombshell, we gotta cue the music, isn't that right? Linus, where you at? Eh. Tweak, tweak, tweak. I gotta get some tassels. I mean to do that. <laughs> hey, if you wanna come hang out with us, we are always live at 8 30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Come put us all through your head holes. Hour earlier for patrons, we get the pre pre super shows and kicking in. If you wanna get in touch with me, pretty much hang out on Twitter, just at Vinstone. On the Twitters, I'm there. At me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, sis. Um, Vin, just at Vin, at mast.linuxgamecast.com. That's where I post shit that... Like, it's just too weird for Twitter. Yeah. I'm Jordan Spung. I'm mystified by... I just realized that Nicolas Cage is now deeply smelling Frank's hair, and it's really creepy. If you want to send me your fan fiction they about that, you should have... Yeah, you should you should at me at the Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Yeah. Woo. And I am clearly in need of more controllers because uh Yes. Uh I am Pedro Mateo. Hey, you can find I'll me be real at with you. Pedro will for... probably just like contact you by itself like some business like <laughs> controllers. <laughs> Don't listen yeah, to I mean, I mean th this looks like you're in need of some more controller bukaki. <laughs> do it, do it. Make at it sexy. for on Twitter. All right. <laughs> it's not sexy enough. Try again. How the fuck did I turn into the adult? <laughs> uh, aging credits. the most. I got it. We got to You know what? I I don't I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. <laughs> I just threw the gauntlet on the ground, bitches. Now, now, now that now that is incorrect. Now that you've brought that up, there is porn of us now. Well, why do you think? Yeah, I want to thank all our our patrons, <laughs> our executive producers, sparkly unicorns like Arthur and an empty in the atomic ass, Mike G, Bob Bramt, Aldius, Haplo, Mac Geek. I guess it's not Haplo anymore. Scott, 
Uh, Frostclaw, Drummer, Luteris, Mr. Fox Dog, the only Tiki, and the rest, those regular producers, those we normal ass horses like Dallas, David S. Max, Dan W. Newman. Help me out, kids. Diablo, Sony Fish, Massavoni, Nicole, Winter Soul, Ryan, Jack, Scott, Matt, Winterson. Master Dak, Sherry Gonzo, 2000, <laughs> oh. Ken Voskat, Simcha, Christian, Duder, Oxford, Comma, Ross Morda, The Naked uh, Truth, Fair Captain Zero, Iris, One Two Bugs. Our Shell on Linux, baby, Remote Manager Windows Machines, or else. <laughs> Nixon's pyramid has died there, in a fire. Yeah, it's supposed to be in there. I don't know what happened. It ate it. My bad. But to be fair, PowerShell on Linux does work. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> hey, hey, man, if you got to remote manage a bunch of Windows machines, you might as well do it from a Linux box. Yeah. <laughs> Dying in that beautiful fire. Until next week. Bye bye. Five dudes. <laughs>